And welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 10, Oppidum Nix by Mr. Vizan or Vezin TH. Um, died three times in the map. Nearly lost the wool last episode. Dealing with some crazy, crazy overpowered mobs. Overpowered in a good way, though, I would say. Let's go ahead and put up the, uh, the wool so that we don't risk losing them. This time around, and we have the lighthouse keep, so we are headed to the mines. Have very little armor left, one iron away from a bucket. Lots of food, at least, though. Uh, and we have a nice little shortcut over here, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, this The mines have a new mob that we have not encountered. Well, we encountered once before whenever we ran by, and it's the, the miner zombies. They seem, they seem fast, but not as fast as the skeletons, so that is something to be thankful of, I think. Although, with the picks, that, that should mean that they're extra, extra powerful, right? I do believe so. Oh man, okay, they, the spawn rates on these guys is really, really high. I thought I saw a zombie last time I was here, not a skeleton. But that does not appear to be the case. Still working with wooden stuff, unfortunately. I would rather not be I don't even think there's an anvil in here, is there? I don't I don't think so. I haven't found an anvil, as far as I know. Um okay, maybe can we just block these guys in perhaps? That might be something to try out, perhaps. Man, they are really, really fast, you guys, and the spawn rates on that spawner are crazy. Crazy, crazy spawn rates. Um what I need to do is get out of range of the spawner, take out all of the zombies, and then uh, and then rush the spawner as best as we can. I don't have many arrows left, so come on, hit hit one of the zombies so that they go after you, please. Pretty pretty please. Come on, Mr. Skeleton, you can do it, guy. There we go. Kill kill the dang skeleton, I say. Um, how do I want to do this exactly? I need to, I think, uh, break that guy and then do that. Alright, now we're far enough away to where the, the spawner is not active. And we can take out all of these zombies now. Maybe one of them will even drop drop another piece of iron or will drop one of their, their iron helmets or something. That would be that would be fantastic. Very, very helpful. Goodbye, Mr. Zombies. I've been having some some bad, bad luck in maps recently. Uh, if you guys haven't already, be sure to check out my latest Myriad Caves episode. Uh, okay, I am in within range now, so I need to back up a bit more. Um, even though I kind of messed up the video the first half, and it's rather unfortunate because I think it's 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 one of the best videos I've put out in quite a while. Um, okay, can we just light it up very, very quickly, very, very quickly, very, very quickly, and do that. And that. I thought he might have a bow. That was not the case, though. And is it... Okay, I do... I, I, it did seem to shut down the spawner, my, my torch there. So that is fantastic, although I am within range of that skeleton spawner. These guys don't seem nearly as bad... Oh, thank you for the carrot there, guy. They don't seem nearly as bad as the, uh as the zombies, though. Go away there, guy. Oh, 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 okay, okay, we're backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the lack of armor is making this really challenging. Oh, he should be dead already. Die, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, 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 came really close to dying there. But thankfully that did not happen, and I'm still within range of the spawner, and it's still not shut down, gosh dang it. I'm going to be running out of arrows here rather soon, I must say. And that just the rates, the rates on these is just crazy. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can die, thank you, thank you very much there, good sir. Alright, let's get out here and do... Do the, do the lighting. Do the lighting stuff. We have bone blocks. Bone blocks are helpful, I suppose. And we got creepers, skeleton, dodge the arrow, shoot the skelly, or miss. One of the, one of the above. Definitely one of the above. I've been playing playing too long today, I think. My, my brain is uh, 
starting to give up. I only have 19 arrows left. My bow is just about done for too. I did not even notice that. Um, boom, boom. Okay, that works too. That works too. Hopefully it did not create a path up, although it looks like it may have. Nope, not quite. Or, yes it did. Yes it did. Go ahead and do it, guy. Alright. I think we're, we're relatively safe now. There's a chest over on top of the bones. That could be the wool. Let's see if I can get a better peek at this here area. Oh, it looks like there's stuff off to the left over here, actually. There's a ladder. Interesting. Is this going to be a shortcut? Somewhere? Oop, I'm getting some, some lag here. A little bit of stuttering. Uh, we have a chest which has a snowball and a shovel. I'm guessing that's that's a hint to dig out, perhaps. Yes, indeed. All right, so that all wraps wraps around then. Um, let's go ahead and light that up so we don't have creepers falling on our heads or anything. And let's consolidate these carrots. Hello, Mr. Mr. Miner. Let's see about taking you out, and we need to run in here and light things up quickly. Quickly, quickly, or not, or not, or not. He can't see us, so he does not exist. Back up. I uh, would rather not use my bow because it's so close to breaking. Um, go ahead, blow up, Mr. Creeper. I dare you. I dare you to do it, thing guy. I'm really hoping there's some, like, armor or something in that chest there. How are you not dead yet? Dang guy. Alright. Let's check this out, shall we? We have iron boots. Okay. That's that's something. <laughs> that's something we can be happy about, I guess. Yeah, and then the projectile stuff, even though we don't have... Um, we don't have an anvil, so I don't really see see the purpose of that. Although we also got the uh, the enchanting table and did not did, did not have lapis, so not really much we can do with that. All right, let's get over here and see about lighting. Oh gosh, lighting that guy up just like a so. Okay, back up, back up, back up. I'm hoping that that zombie went after that skeleton. I think that's maybe what happened. Um, I don't see anybody, though. I do have enough string to make a new bow, so let's go ahead and do that now ha Now that I have a few more arrows, too. Alright, let's see see what's going on in here. Let's start by taking out the spawner. And that one over off to the left right there is not active from the looks of it. Is there a spawner right there? No. Oh, so what's going on? There's a squid. A squid is dying. Alright, let's, um... Let's see if we can... Oh gosh, I did that. I did terribly there. Did absolutely terribly. Alright, alright. We're good, we're good. Got it. Go ahead and take out... We cannot take out the spawner. Alright. Please don't blow up on me, Mr. Creeper. Alright, we're good. Got it. Let's just go ahead and kill these guys now. Um, maybe after we eat. We should probably consider doing that. This dungeon is definitely much more extensive than the other ones, in a, in a good way, I would say. Um, okay, we're okay. We're safe. We're safe. Die, people. I feel like I should be able to hit that creeper there. There we go. There we go. Back up. Back up and... Come on. Come on. Come on, people. You can do it. You can do it. Kill the creeper. Kill all of the undead miners. Uh, I will say, you know, I, I kind of like the fast mobs, but uh, the map is unbalanced simply because of the lack of armor, I think. Unless I'm missing something as far as the armor goes. That, I suppose, is a possibility. Let's go ahead and take those guys out. Oh, there's a... That's odd. But I'm guessing it, it maybe goes down right there. It's my guess, although I really don't want to be in range of that spawner. Um, okay, more of this stuff. I guess that's helpful. Sharpness, which we can't really use. Um, let's see about... Getting over here. Kill the skeleton. 
Hey, you have the spawner. Oh, there's our anvil. Finally, finally, we got an anvil. We got an anvil, and we have oh some pantalones. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and put those guys on. Although I I really need a. Uh... Oh, I, I need. What do I need? I need a uh, chest plate and stuff. I'm contemplating making an iron sword. I don't think a bucket's going to come in that handy here. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll put the sharpness on it. Improve our offense a little bit. Although with the diamonds, I have a feeling we're going to get another diamond, and then I, I should have put it on something else, and yeah, da-da-da, so yeah. Whatever, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care what happens. Um, and let's go ahead and add the projectile protection. Nope, not that. To the boots. Okay. Um, I think that we're good to go. Quite a few of these guys have spawned. Oh my gosh. Yes, indeed. Quite a few have spawned <laughs> while I've been sitting here taking my time. Um, let's get the axe and let's see about digging down here and making our way in, if possible. Come on, you can do it. You can... Ah, uh, uh. Place the block, place the block, place the block. Fine, we'll, we'll break this one too. Now can I place it? Thank you. Thank you, people. And let's go ahead and do something like this. Yes. I think that works. Um, hello. Hello, everybody. I need to get some, some torch down right there. I think that should be helpful. Come on. Bring all, all your zombie friends over here. And somebody, somebody drop, drop me an iron helmet. That would be fantastic. Ooh, a potato. I guess we could use the potato, huh? Um, can we do that? I don't know if that's actually going to help us or not, but it seemed like a smart thing to do. Where are you guys' spawners at, anyways? I do not see the spawners, but maybe they had spawned from... Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. I feel like we're going to get into trouble here. Alright, I saw that guy spawn. So we need to light up that little bit over there if we can. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're, we're okay. We're safe. We're safe. Woody. Oh, he hit me through the corner. Not cool, guy. Not cool at all. Um, let's make sure this is safe over here. And can they not get to me? I guess they can't get to me. Huh. I'm kind of surprised by that. Do we actually have anything? Go away, Mr. Miner. Oh. Anything worthwhile? <laughs> I can make some more boots. Make some more boots. Let's do that. And more books that we might be able to use. Let's check and see what we have there. Unbreaking and feather falling. Nah, not really anything I want or need. Um, okay. We obviously need to get out here and shut down this spawner if we can. Come on, Mr. Creeper. You can do it. You can do it. Blow! Blow, I say blow. Oh, come on. Really? Really, people? Nope. Doesn't want to blow up. Finally. There you go. There you go, guy. Oh, gosh. We're dealing with void. We are dealing with the void. Yes, indeed. Uh, I guess I should probably destroy the spawner. We need to take out that skeleton who has a bow over there. That's going to be a good idea. Did I ever check up on top? I don't think I checked up on top, did I? Anything? Anything? Nope. Nada. Not a dang thing. Alright. Um, I feel like the smartest thing to do is going to be to go off to the side over here. Let's check and see what we're dealing with. Spider. Not cool. And I thought I saw a spawner off to the right there. It looks just like more of the minor guys. So that's not that big of a deal. Definitely want to take out that skeleton, though. 
and him. All right, looking looking good. Looking safe, I think. Go ahead and torch that up so that they stop spawning. Um, this little ledge above me is making me very nervous. That are very nervous. Yes, indeed. So let's just double check to make sure we're not dealing with, with anything up here. Alright, now I should just be able to jump out there and grab whatever it is. Although it looks like it continues on. Um, I kind of like this with like the bones, the fossils, you know? That's kind of a cool idea. I can't tell. That, that almost looks like it's gravel. But yeah. Let's go ahead and just try to get out here if we can. I don't think we really need to worry about those guys. I think we're going to be safe. So let's just go ahead and hop over here. Let's block up though. <laughs> just in case, just in case, you never know. Never know. And should I check and see, there's a spawner back here and it looks like it goes into the wall. So I'm kind of tempted to see what exactly is happening. Um, what do we have? Just undead miners. There's a skeleton back there. Um, okay, he's gonna hop over. Oh, gosh, dang guy, you scared me. Scared me so badly. Are we within range? I don't think we're within range until we get to about right there. Okay. Let's see if we can rush it and get some light down. Fantastic. Just like a so. And this does not seem to actually lead us anywhere. Um, yes, that is indeed void. So we just need to get out of here. That is the wool. That is the dungeon. Um... Definitely, like, some design choices and stuff that I'm kind of curious about and confused about. Uh, I did enjoy the mobs in the map. I guess we're not quite done yet, so I, I shouldn't be talking like we're, we're finished with the map or anything. Um, I did like the challenging mobs. The resources were mostly absent. Like, uh, resources that you would expect were largely absent from the map. Uh, and that made things really, really challenging. Because I had to do it with pretty much, uh, you know, no armor some of the time. But overall, overall, a challenging and and promising map that with uh, a bit more work, I think, could could be something really nice for a little mini, mini CTM. Uh, of course, we are done now. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it out of here. And then we will move on to the next map. Which I believe, don't quote me on this one, but I believe it's a map by 14er. I'm not sure if that's even how you pronounce his name or not. 14, I just, I just want to call him 14. Uh, and from what I understand, it's like a 16 wool map, which I don't know how you, how do you, oh gosh, oh gosh, what was that? Oh, that's pretty cool. I was wondering if we were going to get any kind of two domain of Prince Gaius. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that it's going to be a boss, actually. Oh, we got... I need to go back there and get that anvil. Um, there's a boss. Okay, I was not expecting that. All right, let me go ahead and get situated, and I will be right back with you guys. All right, so I, I came to this little hole in the ground to farm arrows, and there actually ended up being a chest here, and in the chest was an iron chest plate. So there, I guess there is enough armor on the map to to hold the player over, although there's not a lot of replacements uh, if you happen to die. If you die, you're kind of kind of stuck, and I think that's that's problematic, um, especially if your if your stuff ends up despawning. But Anyways, let's go ahead and get to this boss fight. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and store this armor in case we do die to the boss. We have some backup stuff. I have a backup sharpness 2 iron sword and I think I threw my pants away unfortunately cuz I thought we were pretty much going to be done with the map. But I do have I do have some stuff to hold us over. Uh, let's go ahead and eat the bread and then I have a stack of arrows, lots of blocks. A shield, uh, projectile protection, protection two. Let's go ahead and get in here and see what we are dealing with. 
Prince Gaius. Gaius, Gaius, Gaius. I think it's Gaius. Uh, if you want to break me something or other, take him out. Oh, that wasn't hard at all. I, I got... These guys were easier... <laughs> These guys were easier than the regular mobs in the map. That seems... That definitely seems broken. Um, he is dead, right? I mean, it's not like a trick or something. I hear more archers. I think it might just be guys outside. Oh, well, that's pretty. That is quite quite pretty, I must say. Um, okay, well, I guess, I guess we're officially done with the map then. I just spent like a good... A good 15 minutes or so. Oh, I also found this pick, yeah. I spent like a good 15 minutes or so getting getting prepared for this, and then it ended up not being that difficult. And I guess, I guess there's no way of getting back. Okay. Well, like I said, the map is definitely promising for a lot of reasons, uh, but at the same time it needs a lot of work. A lot of work uh, to to be finished, I would say. And just a reminder, of course, that these uh, maps are not supposed to be finished products, necessarily. I see light out there. Man, it teleported us quite a ways away, didn't it? Let's let's make a run for it uh, in this direction, shall we? See what we can't find? Go go for a little exploration, perhaps? Get back to the main, main place? The wasteland? Uh, I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> We're not going to go exploring or anything. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.